here's the witness list, okay? So these are guys that were involved in the case with me, right? And they were the ones that had to testify. I didn't have to testify because I was, um, because I was, uh, you know, the case agent. So typically the case agent doesn't, doesn't um, testify, right? And then here's the exhibit checklist, all right? Now, this is the evidence that we used in the actual trial, guys, okay? So as you guys can see, you got, um, the, and see the AUSA numbers it one through uh, one A through one G photographs of GoFast vessel. That's the boat that they seized. Okay. And, and you guys, here's the days that they got the piece of evidence. This one, I gave it to them. Okay. Cause let me explain something to you guys with trial. All right. So we caught this guy red handed, right? CBP went ahead and caught him. Let me give you guys a little recap of the events. CBP catches him. He's trying to come to the United States. He's about 20 nautical miles outside the United States. CBP AMO sees him. They're on boat. He, he sees them. He turns around. He tries to run back to the Bahamas. They catch up to him, stop, stop him, get on the boat, find $23,000, find a bunch of illegal aliens, some Chinese, some Panamanian, etc. They arrest everybody. Coast Guard pulls up. They take those aliens and those individuals, put them on the Coast Guard cutter. They do immigration checks. They figure out that Stanley Roll had been arrested before. They figured out that he threw his phone from uh, overboard. And they uh, find out also that everyone's an illegal alien. So they go ahead. They call HSI, right? I was the duty agent that day. Hey, you know, we got this, this such and such going on, blah, blah, blah. We're going to process the aliens and bring them over to the, to the, um, Miami, the Miami Beach Coast Guard station. So they bring them back. Border Patrol shows up, takes them into custody brings them to the Dania Beach Border Patrol Station. When they get them to the Border Patrol Station, me and my team show up. I'm, I show up with like six or seven agents. We interview all 17 people. At, when we interview all 17 people, they all identify Stanley Roll as the captain of the boat and the smuggler, okay? Then uh, they also identify that they had paid him money. They had went, they basically tell us the entire story of how they got to the Bahamas, which it always falls along the lines of, I left my you know home country on this day. I paid this guy this much money. He got me to this country. Then I paid another guy. He got me to the Bahamas. And then I met th this guy. And then he paid, and then I paid him money. And then he put me on the boat with Stanley Roll. That's typically how it goes, okay? And every alien has a little bit of a different story depending on where they came. So the Chinese nationals all travel together. The Dominicans travel together, you know, et cetera. So anyway, we interview everybody there. At that point, guys... I was like, okay, I got to gather all my evidence and make sure that I got this thing rock solid. So what did I do? I let Border Patrol turn him over to enforce and removal operations, okay? The ICE guys. Now, while they were all sitting in immigration uh, custody, I went to the prosecutor. I said, yo, this is the case that I got. This is the money I seized. This is all the evidence I got. Let's indict it. He was like, cool, you have enough. Let's go ahead and indict it. So we, we went to grand jury. I testified. We had the evidence that we needed. Get a grand bill, a grand jury, um, true bill of indictment. I get an arrest warrant from the judge. I go back to the immigration center, tell him, "Hey, I got a warrant for your arrest. Cuff him up, cuff up the two aliens, the two um, guys that were uh, felons. Take them and put them in jail with the U.S. marshals. Then that's when the time clock starts. As soon as you arrest them, the clock starts. Then he basically says, "I don't, I'm not, I'm not pleading guilty, which is rare, guys. In the Fed system, they always plead guilty." But this dude wanted to fight it because his argument was, I wasn't even in U.S. waters. I was 20 miles away, and then I turned around and went back. Y'all shouldn't have arrested me. That was his argument, okay? But in reality, he was in U.S. waters. So, stupid. Anyway, terrible argument. But he thought he had a case, so he didn't want to plead guilty. And mind you guys, this was like the second or third time that he had been arrested. So he was going to do some time if he got arrested again for this shit. So he was like, I'm fighting it, okay? Um, so. Obviously, when you prepare for trial, guys, as the case agent, your job, right? And the case agent is the main person that run the, runs the case. Your job is to get the, the witnesses ready and to get all the evidence and give it to the prosecutor so that the prosecutor can um, fight the case. All right. And since we're going to trial, we need to have our T's crossed and our I's dotted because he didn't want to plead guilty. So here is the exhibit list here, guys, um, so that this all makes sense now. Uh, let me boom. All right. And let me enlarge it for y'all real fast. Okay, this is what an exhibit list looks like when you go to trial, all right? Guys, like the video, by the way, because ain't nobody else going to be able to give you guys this type of sauce. Sorry, guys, it's really cold in here. That's why I'm sniffing. It really is cold as hell in this apartment, God damn it. So, <clears throat> so this was the judge. This was the AUSA, the two AUSAs on the case. And then this was the defendant's attorney, right? So we got here um, photographs 
right? Then we got photographs of the seized currency. Remember, it was $23,000. Immigration documents for the 16 aliens. What are those immigration documents? Well, guys, whenever people are legal aliens, you 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 they get something called an alien registration number or an ARN, okay? And that ARN is tied to that individual based on their fingerprints. So, excuse me. So, we're able to establish that all those people that we caught, those Chinese, those Dominicans, whatever, none of them had legal right or authority to be in the United States. All right. So we, you have to show that, though, through the immigration documents. Then uh, recorded 26, uh, 2018 interview of the defendant. So on October 26, right, we went ahead and we interviewed the bad guy um, and he gave a statement. And anytime you interview somebody, guys, in the feds, you have to record the interview. All right. And then you got we had a transcript of the interview as well. Right. Anytime you do a, 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 a you go to trial, you need a transcript of the interview. And then we had a video of the interdiction. And the video, guys, was um, this uh, from CBP AMO. I actually remember going to their office specifically to get the video. They're da they're downtown in, uh, in in downtown Miami, right by the passport office. Right. So I went and got the video. Then they got still frames from interdiction video. So they had him on video getting arrested and they got still frames. Then they got the conviction record for one of the aliens. Because remember, guys, that's an important part of charging role was that he not only brought in illegal aliens, but he brought in two convicted felons. These two guys right here. Okay. Ray De Los Santos and Carlos Arturo Moreno Archibald. These two guys were convicted felons and he brought them in. That's another charge. All right. And then they brought this, the Miranda form. Okay. I know some of y'all are having fun with that with fresh in the chat. Um, sign Miranda form 1024 18. And then the sign Miranda form 10 26 18. And a Miranda form guys is this right here. And I'll show you. I'm pulling out real quick. I have it in my little kit right here. And I'll, and I'll read it to y'all real quick, too. This is what an HSI Miranda form looks like, unless they outdated it since I've been gone. But this is it right here, okay? As y'all can see, it says Statement of Rights, okay? Department of Homeland Security, Immigration, Customs Enforcement, right? So it goes, before we ask you qu any questions in my duty to advise you of your rights, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law or other proceedings. You have the right to consult an attorney before making any statement or answer any questions. You have the right to have an attorney present with you during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you before any questioning if you wish. You decide to answer questions now. You still have the right to stop the questioning at any time or to stop the questioning for the purpose of consulting an attorney. And then if they say yes, you have them print their name, right? Oh, hold on. Let me make sure I got that in. Uh, yep. You have them print their name. Then you have it signed, and then you have two witnesses, okay? You yourself as a case agent typically, and then someone who does the interview with you, and then you date everything here. And then here's the uh, the rights right here, okay? So that's what the form looks like. And any law enforcement agency has it pretty much the same as this. So like, let's say I did an interview with like DEA or something like that, and I use this Miranda form, it's gonna work. If I'm with FBI and they use their Miranda form, it's gonna work, it doesn't matter. It's all pretty much the same. Every agency has different forms with that where the wording is different a little bit, but in general, they're all the same thing. And you read them this, and then you have them sign. And then when you do have them sign, that, my friend, becomes what? Evidence that they waived their rights and spoke to you, okay? Because if you don't have a Miranda form, let's say you, you get an interview. Let's say you arrest a bad guy, and you don't read him his rights, and you ask him questions that might incriminate him. Guess what? That, my friend, is... None of those statements come in because you didn't read them their Miranda rights. Okay. All right. Uh, and then you got map location of GoFast when discovered by CBP. Map location of GoFast vessel when stopped by CBP. And then uh, judge and convictions for the defendant. Because remember, guys, he had been arrested before for this. Okay. And then you got the factual proffer, which is what I just read to you guys right here. Okay. So this is the exhibit checklist. So this is what the prosecutor used against your boy. Stanley W. Rowe.